Hello, beautiful people of the internet. I'm uh, Hobo Tuts here, also known as Dom. Uh, this is another tutorial with your massive. We're going for a Datsec sound. Also, you may notice that I have a new microphone because the quality's better. So, um, yeah, enjoy my sexy voice now. Um, all right, so open up your massive. Let's go right into this. Um, you want to go ahead and hit File, New Sound. Okay. Now. Uh, turn on oscillator 1 and 2 uh, oscillator 1 should have modern talking oscillator 2 should have flinders 3 oscillator 1 negative 12 pitch oscillator 2 negative 24 pitch just click and drag it and it will lower um, the WT position the wavetable position on oscillator 1 should be at about 2 o'clock 2.30 the intensity and amp all the way up uh, the WT position intensity and amp should be all the way up on oscillator 2 turn both of these to filter 1 alright and our modulation oscillator we wanna turn it on for oscillator 1 and put the RM uh, the ring mod at uh, 3 o'clock and the phase on you turn the phase on for oscillator 2 and turn that all the way up uh, make sure this is all the way down this little knob right here the plus F2 I have no idea what it is uh, make sure the mix knob is all the way up uh, turn on in insert one and put a frequency shift shifter I'm sorry uh, put the dry wet at 2 o'clock 2.30 and the pitch should be at like 11 o'clock turn on filter one you can turn off filter two put a scream on it put the cutoff at 1 o'clock Put the scream at a little past nine, and the resonance at ten o'clock. Okay, now go in your five LFO tab, um, and just like click one of these, and then click back to the sine wave, just so it's reset basically. Uh, actually, I'll just do that myself, I guess. Actually, I don't think I can. But um, all right, pick the sine wave, make that make the X fade curve all the way up so it only does this wave make it so the downward slope is in the center turn on sync and restart um, what else alright click the crosshair with 5LFO and put in the cutoff of this and the cutoff should go almost full there should be a little bit left like spacing it should be a little bit um just kind of like compare with mine same with the screen compare and put it on the WT position of oscillator 1 and you want it just to go a little bit just like the screen pretty much the same as the screen uh, if you're wondering what that does here I'll show you okay that's the normal sound here's with it off if you can tell the difference. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Alright, if you can hear the difference, there's a slight difference. It's not a big difference, but it helps. Alright, put a classic tube on FX1. Put the drive at a little pat teensy bit past 12 o'clock. And the dry wet at about 10.30, 11 o'clock. The reverb small, the dry wet and the size should be the same. They're about 10 o'clock position. I think that's it though. I got this wobble from breaking off someone else's wobble. Uh, it was a patch I found on YouTube. Uh, if I could fucking open this up, that would be great, but it doesn't look like that's happening. It's by Red Mob. Uh, yeah. So I broke off of that his Borgor bass, which is this. Well, it's... I broke off of that and just messed with it and got the Datsic excisionish type sound out of it. So, well, but um, if you want, you can add an EQ onto it, boost the low shelf a little bit and the high shelf a little bit, and won't hurt doesn't hurt but I think that's it now how to use this let's see 
we'll give an example with my track stuck up, which is a uh, is this a, this ain't it? I don't know what this is. I have no idea what this track is. That's weird. Uh, we'll figure this out. This may be it. This is not it. This is upsetting. Uh, I don't know, man. 12.9. I don't know when I made the track. Ah, it crashed anyway, so it's all good. Oh, well, well, if you want to hear an example of it, I have my dubstep channel, youtube.com slash domdubs, or you can go to my SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash armaface. If you have your own music to promote, uh, I got a link in the description to Cloud Killers, and that promotes your music for free. All you have to do is comment on other people's um, other people's tracks, and you get comments on your tracks. So it's more like it's like a um, a courtesy type thing, and it's really cool. It's getting really popular, and if you go to that link, it'll help me out. Uh, I also have a Facebook page if you wanna uh, like it. Uh, I'll post my tutorials on there, so it keeps you updated. Uh, also, along with my music, so I'll put that in the description. But I hope this uh, tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, more tutorials coming uh, soon, of course. So, uh, thanks for watching. See ya.